I'm gonna go through the medication treatments that you might need to take or want to take if you have COVID. Let me first start by saying you have got to consult your own doctor for what is right for you and what you qualify for and what is safe and effective for you. Well, let me give you some things I'm recommending to my patients, okay? Uh, first of all, you want pain relievers, all right? This is an example, this is, not, uh, uh, this is not an ad for anything. I am not sponsoring any medications. I'm just showing you examples of things I have at home. Uh, pain relievers and um, uh, fever reducing medications, whether that's ibuprofen or acetaminophen. Again, you want to check with your doctor to see what you're allowed to take for your medical conditions. Also, you uh, may need to take something for cough and cold symptoms because a lot of times people are getting that, those types of symptoms with COVID. Again, not an ad for Mucinex, but this is something I had lying around. There are many medications over the counter that have uh, medications in them that deal with multiple symptoms. So you want to read the labels to see what you're getting to make sure you're not double dipping or overdosing, <laughs> um, like taking a uh, I see the in here and then taking it elsewhere, you know, separately. You know what I'm trying to say? Um, but uh, there are medications that are combo medications like this. There are nasal decongestants that you can take over the counter. Be careful because those can raise blood pressure. Again, got to make sure this works with your body makeup. Um, there are also expectorants. Those are medications to help you cough up and get rid of mucus. There's also cough suppressants as well, okay, if you're coughing a lot. Um, there are other classes of medications that might be helpful, but that's some ideas of over-the-counter things that you can take to help help with your symptoms. Let's start with the big guns, okay? Um, we've got monoclonal antibodies. I did a whole video on this, but if you are at risk for developing severe complications of COVID, you are at risk, uh, at higher risk, you may qualify for monoclonal antibodies. And by the way, guys, uh, for this video, I'm only talking about people who are not in the hospital. This is if you get COVID and you're at home and you're not sick enough to need to be in the hospital, okay? Monoclonal antibodies, by the way, check out that video, but the long and the short of it is, call Call your doctor, set up a telemedicine visit, a phone visit, something like this. I'll be honest with you, these days, guys, uh, outpatient doctors like myself, we are just besieged with phone calls. Oftentimes, I think it is best and easiest and safest for you to schedule a telemedicine visit so you can go through all your symptoms with your doctor, get all the advice, and they can really make a good assessment of what's right for you rather than saying just calling and asking a question because they may need to ask you questions to figure out what the right is situation is for you. But, but so schedule a tel telemedicine visit and remember, uh, one of the reasons why you want to do that is because if you have COVID, you might qualify for monoclonal antibodies. This is an IV infusion treatment that helps reduce the risk of progression of COVID, meaning it lowers your chance of COVID getting worse in people like yourself, um, and you might qualify for it. Not everybody qualifies for it, but if you're at high risk, and that includes things like obesity and other medical conditions you might not have thought about, you may qualify for this, so call your doctor. Second treatment option that is a big gun that is pretty exciting is um, antiviral treatments that have now been approved for COVID. That is right, guys. This is not the COVID vaccine. Many of you are trying to figure out where this falls, and I understand. Uh, it's a pill, okay, instead of the monoclonal antibodies, which is a different medication that you get by IV. The uh, antivirals are pills that you would take at home. They would be prescribed, you get them from the pharmacy, and they would lower your risk for progression with COVID, meaning they would lower your risk of getting worse with COVID. Super important, but not everybody qualifies for these, so that's why you've got to talk to your doctor to see if you qualify, okay? Now, I know you guys are going to ask about things like vitamin C. Look at this big bottle. My mom got me this. Also, vitamin D. Um, uh, full disclosure, I happen to be vitamin D deficient, as is a lot of people in this country, um, so these are my prescription vitamin D tablets, but the point being is you guys are always asking about vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc. Should you take it? Can you take it? Etc. Well, uh, let me read you the official statements from the NIH regarding these. Um, uh, the NIH says regarding vitamin D, vitamin C, and zinc that there is insufficient evidence uh, for uh, the COVID treatment guidelines uh, panel to recommend for or against either zinc or vitamin D or vitamin C for the uh, treatment of COVID. That's super important. Um, some doctors recommend it. Some doctors do not. You got to ask your doctor what you should be doing. Keep in mind that um, it's never okay to overdose on supplements, okay? Um, that is not okay, and that's always possible with any supplement that we take. Keep that in mind. The most important thing with that is to ask your doctor. Guys, but these are some things that you have in your toolkit to take if you should come down with COVID. Remember, your doctor is your person. Um, ask them about some of these things I talked about to see if they're right for you. Guys, let me know if you got COVID, if you had COVID, what you did, what you took, what your doctor suggested. Um, uh, give other people advice, encouragement. Guys, we hope that you all stay 
stay well. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert, and video creator. If you've not liked and followed my page, I invite you to do so. For those of you who send stars, I respond to you personally. Thank you so much. Consider joining my subscription group, Dr. Jen Superstars. And for those of you on YouTube, hello, uh, please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell for updates. Guys, I'll see you soon.